Okay, Heath Field, welcome to the final project. This is what you're going to be working towards before the summer holidays. There's three here in front of you. You're not going to be expected to make three, you're only going to be expected to make one. But throughout the next few weeks, you'll see me create these three pieces. I've done three pieces because I've tried to use things that you will have in your house, and that's why there's three possible ways of doing this. Each week will be a new layer to your final piece. You'll start with a background, then you'll apply a pattern, then you'll apply your still life tonal drawing, and last you'll apply some text. I will work through it step by step each week with you. But what you are working towards is a portrait of your lockdown. This will be a piece of history. This will be a piece that you can keep forever to document this moment in time, which will go down in the history books. I can't wait to see them. They'll create the most beautiful display when we go back to school. It might be even something I can share with the world, I could share with the museum. It's going to be an insight into you. There's no expectation of what you draw, what you use. It's everything in this final piece is your choice based on your experiences that you are having right now. I can't wait to see them develop. So let's start with week one. Week one is how to make a background. Okay, paper size. So most of you are probably only got A4 paper at home. Ideally we want to work on A3 because this is what we work on at school. So take two sheets of A4 paper and tape them together. Now I'm trying to use what you lot have got at home. Now ideally if you've got masking tape, use masking tape because masking tape can still be drawn on top of, it can still be painted on top of. If you haven't got masking tape, I imagine most of you have got tape. we can do that but what it does mean is that now becomes our back because we cannot work on the shiny side. So I'm just going to trim those edges off. Also, if you've got A3 paper, brilliant, use A3 paper. If not, that is what we're going to do. Some of you may want to use a cardboard box. This is just a cardboard box that I've cut a sheet off. As you can see, it's not quite A3. That's okay, it doesn't have to be A3. But this is a nice surface as well, and this is made from a cardboard box. Okay, next thing is I want to get rid of this white surface. So again, I've tried to use things that you're going to have at home. So I found some coffee, I found some tea, I've also found some green food colouring. So I'm going to show you what kind of effects you can get first and then you can make your choice. So using a tea bag, I've just put a little bit of water on that, but as you can see, if you, I, mean, I could rub it if I wanted to, I could sponge it as I'm doing, but you can see the kind of colours that that is making. Let me have a go at doing the coffee for you now as well. So again, I could either dilute this down and I could brush it on, or the other thing I thought about doing is actually just shaking it into certain areas and leaving it to dry. And hopefully it's going to make some slightly darker patches in other areas. Now, I've never painted with food colouring before. This might not work, but I thought I would give it a go. So again, I need to have a bit of a wet surface. I'm going to use a little bit of a paintbrush. Now, I don't know why I'm using tea, just probably because it's what I've got to hand. Okay, so I could sponge, paint on some of this green food colouring if you want to. But what I've also grabbed, actually, is some salt. Now, if I was using dye and I sh put salt on the surface, it creates a different texture. Let's see if it works with food colouring. I'm going to leave that and I will come back to you in a moment. Okay, so here is my background. It still needs to dry, but I just wanted to come in. So some of you might just leave it here, but some of you might have some equipment at home that you might have glue, for instance. So what I've done is gone around. Remember, this is a portrait of lockdown. So I've gone and found myself a bit of um, something from the post, and I've torn that off. I've torn some newspaper off, um, some kitchen towel. I've been tearing that off. And corrugated card, lastly, I really like when you peel the top layer of corrugated card off and you get this wonderful pattern behind. So I'm going to play with different things that I've found around the house. So for instance, in a moment, when I've finished, I'm going to stick these down. I'm probably going to tea stain them a bit, but I might even take this tea bag, because I've drank a lot of tea on lockdown, and I might even empty the tea out 
and glue that down as well. So remember, we're creating a surface here that we are going to work back on top of. I will come back in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I've come back. There's my tea bag that I talked about, my letter, corrugated card texture, some newspaper. The bits of brown I pulled off the top, you can see that I started to dot them around. Some kitchen towel here, which I went over with tea, but I've left some tiny bits of white just so I can keep that a little bit of white in there. You can also see I've stuck a lot over that hidden line, so now people can no longer see that I stuck those two pieces together. So remember, your two choices were stay with the original um, coffee tea background if that's all you have but if you do have access to glue go around your house see what you can find try and create a background that also is a portrait of lockdown and what you've been doing so here are your three backgrounds whether you have chosen to go for the tea stained coffee stained two pieces of a4 paper whether you had some glue and we're able to create a collage of a lockdown portrait. Now I know I talked to you about me using a tea bag. Here you could have used anything from crisp packet wrappers, chocolate bar wrappers, anything that you've probably been eating during lockdown. Again, I use newspaper. You might have chosen to go for a magazine instead. Just things that reflect what you have been doing during lockdown. Or whether, like I said to you about finding a cardboard box, cutting it down and that becoming a nice background too. The other one I came across while I was tidying up was a cereal box and I said, thought actually if you open that up and trim that down that could become another surface for you to work on. So you have a choice there of four different backgrounds to choose from. The cereal box, the corrugated card with torn edges, the two pieces of printer paper stuck together with the coffee and the tea stain or the collage of things that you found around your house and used during lockdown.